Hi, welcome to Portal 7. When we build a new PC or we upgrade our hard disk and SSD, then we have some common issues. Like creating a partition, copying partition, increasing partition size or decreasing partition size or cloning hard disk to SSD etc. In this video we will explore a multi-purpose program that will make these tasks simple and easy. So open your browser and search for AOMEI Partition Assistant, or you can download it by clicking on the link given in the video's description. Open official website Click on Download Freeware. Click on Open File. Here you can see some extra features for Pro version. For now click on skip and it will start installing. Now you can see its interface. Here on website you can see benefits of paid version. As you can see free version has basic features like supporting all Windows OS and resize, shrink, extend, merge, create, delete, format, and wipe partition. But for extra features such as migrate OS from MBR to GPT or GPT to MBR, you have to buy a paid version. Paid version comes with some extra features. You can buy or you can use free version as per your needs. For now let's take a look on its interface. Here you can see it showing all disks. In my laptop I have one SSD and one hard disk, and at this time I have also attached one USB pen drive. I have its paid version so, I have to register it to access all its features. Now it is a professional edition. In upper toolbar you can see its tools list. You can clone your disk you can migrate your OS from hard disk to SSD or SSD to M2. You can clone a partition also. You can convert MBR to GPT. As you know that Windows 11 needs GPT partition system it doesn't support MBR. So if you have old hard disk which use MBR system you can convert it to GPT partition system. You can convert NTFS to FAT32 or vice versa. In free up tab it has PC cleaner, app mover and delete large files. Let's try PC Cleaner. It is good option to clear your temporary or other files which makes your PC slow. App Mover can be used for large programs such as games to move from your C drive to another partition. Here you have to select your C drive which has installed most of apps, Then it will show your all programs list. Then you can select your large size app and you can move it into another partition. Delete large files option can scan all drives to scan your large file and you can delete that. In recovery tab you see data recovery option. If you have lost your data or you have accidentally deleted your partition, then you can recover your data from here. It has two option partition recovery or recover data. In wipe section you will get wipe hard drive or wipe partition option. If you wipe your hard drive or partition from here, then it will be hard to recover that data. So if you want to sell your old hard drive, then you should wipe it from here. In test tab, you can check your hard disk or SSD read write speed. In my laptop C drive is NVMe M2. So let's check its speed. It has very good speed now let's check traditional hard drive speed.
In Data Sarface test you can check bed sectors in your hard drive and you can repair it to get best performance. In Tools tab, you can see different types of tools like create a portable version. If you don't want to install your partition assistant software in other PCs and you want to use it, then you can make a portable pen drive from here. If you forgot your Windows password then you can reset your Windows password from here. You can extend partition size from Extend Partition Wizard. Windows to Go Creator is a good feature if you want to use a portable OS in your USB pen drive, and you can make bootable media also from here. Now let's check its main window. Here you can see it's showing three different disks, which is first my hard disk, second my NVMe M2 drive, and third is a USB drive. When you click on a partition then you can see related tools in right side menu, such as resize, move partition, split partition, clone partition, create partition, allocate free space etc. It has lot of options. For example I will select Partition F and click on Move and Resize Partition. Here you can resize your partition size. You can change partition's drive letter. Suppose you want to merge two partitions, then click on one partition and right click and choose Merge Partition. Here you have to select your partitions which you want to merge. Suppose I want to merge D and E, then select both and click on OK, it will be merged. In upper toolbar you can see Apply option. If you click on Apply then these two partitions will be merged. Merging partitions will take some time which you can see here. For now I will undo it from toolbar. Here you can see Undo and Redo option. Now let's look clone partition feature. Select a partition click on clone partition, then clone partition wizard will open. You can choose clone partition quickly, or you can choose sector by sector option. Now let's look split partition feature. If you select any partition and click on split partition, then you will see this split partition window here. You can set size for each partition and click on OK. If you click on apply then it will be done. For now I will cancel it. Now let's check its NTFS to FAT32 converter. As I have a USB drive which is currently NTFS, let's make it FAT32. It has both option NTFS to FAT32 or FAT32 to NTFS. Select option which you want. Click on Next. Select Drive Letter and click on Proceed. And it's done. Now you can see it has FAT32 file system. Now I will convert it back to NTFS. This time I will choose FAT32 to NTFS. And now it's again NTFS. You can check it in its properties. Now let's change its partition label. You can get your hard drive, SSD or USB drive full details. Select it and click on properties. It has many more features which you can explore yourself, so I think this software has all types solutions for a hard disk or SSD related issues. You can download it and try it by clicking on the link given in the video's description. To see more videos like this, please consider subscribing. Thanks for watching.